Hi, welcome to my show. Today we're gonna to be eating two onions raw. Nah, we're not eating no raw onions. This is Josh John, a cooking show. Me and AJ, yeah! So what's up, the internet? It's been a long time, and uh, I haven't done much or known what to do, so I'm gonna start with a cooking show by two guys that know absolutely nothing about cooking. Actually, I just wanted to hang out with my son. I knew it. <laughs> Hey, get in here! Actually, what really happened was my wife texted me today and she said, My wife! I re my wife! I really want some pulled pork and I said, you know, I have nothing to do. I should probably figure out how to make some pulled pork. So, God, that almost oh, broke our kitchen. I went and got some pulled pork butt. Don't ask me why it's called pork butt, because it's the shoulder. I suppose I can look that up. Maybe I should Google and find out. Because they're liars. Why is pork shoulder called pork butt? <laughs> Why is pork shoulder called pork? <laughs> so after reading a few things on the internet, I don't know and I don't care, so I'm not gonna tell you. We're gonna make um, um. pulled pork in the crock pot. It's gonna take like six hours. Oh. This is way too much meat. That's okay, stick around, we'll eat it later. We're gonna do this sort of log style, but I'm gonna cut this in half and put it into two I'm crock snacks. I'm while we're making this. That's then. fine, you can snack. I can't wait six hours. So I looked at one article online and I watched one YouTube video and I found a bunch of ways to do it. And the common denominator was you basically put a little onion and a little garlic and some broth at the bottom of the thing. You dry rub your crock, you dry rub your meat and then you throw it in and leave it alone. I'm gonna improvise, I don't have you chicken You dry broth. rub your crock, I'm gonna, your meat? I'm gonna dry rub my meat. <laughs> my crock meat. <laughs> I rub the heck out of my crock meat. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have chicken broth. I got these bouillon cubes. I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna use these two little onions. I don't have fresh garlic from that ghetto. And instead of making my own rub like a lot of these guys were, I have this Netflix Freddy's sweet, secret sweet barbecue rub. I'm gonna throw this all over it and you guys can watch us do this. Oh my. DIY, dummy style. <laughs> oh yeah, we got sushi too. You know. All right, we have to do this quick because I have to pick Evan up from school in like a half an hour. So we got to get all this prepped and ready and I don't know if I'm going to get much help from this guy here. First thing we got to do is cut this into two pieces, dry it off, and then put the rub all over it. So let's do that. What are you going to cut that in? I'm going to cut it with an on something. It's going to leak juices all around. Dude, I could do it in a bowl. We have to do it in a bowl, I think. All right. Get your biggest bowl. Which bowl do I use? Guys, in case you didn't know, I don't know how to do anything, so this is a perfect way for you to see if you can do something. If this dummy can do it, you can definitely do it. This is gonna make a mess, isn't it? Yeah. All right, I don't have a fun. bigger bowl. Oh, you know, do we have one of those tins? I'll probably hold them juices. All right, uh, in our joint expertise, we've decided I'm gonna put them into this and cut it, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, I don't know if I wanna use those scissors. Whoa. These are meat scissors. I know, but I gotta use those. Um, Maybe. It's too big. I need to saw this bad boy. <laughs> should we get the handsaw? <laughs> <laughs> should we get the handsaw? Oh god. Or should we use like a uh, like a reciprocating saw? We'll just come over here and saws all this. Just like that. That's a good idea. Maybe I'm gonna start with it in the bowl on top of the tray and I'm just gonna cut into this. And if you want to be productive, you can start chopping up those. Ooh, I already spilled on the table. Gross. You gotta get your coffee away from you. That's true. Oh man. This is Oh, it's already in half, sort of. Mm. Well, it's in multiple pieces. What's going on with this? Ew. By the way, you want to use pork butt, which is pork shoulder, not pork tenderloin. It needs the fat, otherwise it's going to dry out. That's one big piece. Oh my gosh. This is another really big piece. I guess it doesn't have to be perfectly in half. I could also just cut this piece off and save some. This is a lot. This was like 13 or 14 pounds of How meat. How much was this? Like 28 bucks. It's like two bucks a pound. What? The problem is I don't know if this whole thing will fit in that crock pot. Probably will, but I already don't know what to do. Well, crap. Well, the first step that I saw was kind of like getting all the goop off of it. Really? Yeah, then you dry it so that the dry rub's gonna stick to it. So you kind of dry the meat off. Wouldn't it being wet help the dry rub stick to you it? You know, I saw one guy said do olive oil on it to help it stick, and then the video I'm following actually said you dry it off which is probably why it's called a dry rub. So I'm just gonna get a lot of this, whatever this fluid is, off the outside of this meat. Gross. I hate this. I'm not a fan of raw meat. Yeah, but it's gonna taste delicious. I will say, I went to a Korean barbecue place though, and they had some Kobe beef, and I ate a piece of raw Kobe beef. You ate raw Kobe beef? Mm -hmm. That's kind of rad. I just went for it. So I guess we got two bowls, two pieces of meat. Just put the big one in here, and the little one in the little one. And we can start to rub this. We're gonna rub our crock meat. 
shock me. Here, you take the little one. This is your, my little boy. Little boy. <laughs> How much do I put on this? Uh, I don't know. We'll just coat it. You gotta coat it evenly all over the place and rub it into all the parts. Okay, okay. I need a bigger... You need a bigger spout? Oh, don't. Okay. I'm worried. We'll be okay. Here, I want some. Hold on, I gotta... I gotta make sure this is... Here's the pattern is going. Should we just... Go take, ham? Take a credit card and chop it up? No. <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. All right. Dude, this is how it's gonna go down. No, no, no. It's gotta be even. It's gotta be even. Once I rubbed it. <laughs> Get it all over. Here, I'm gonna take your little droppings. All right. That's enough. You gotta save some for me. We don't need to use the whole thing. Well, yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, he's rubbing it. Okay, well you start rubbing that in. Hold on, I gotta get, I gotta get a more of an even coat. But give me some. Look too. at all these areas that I don't. <laughs> you gotta use your hands for that. I think. All right. Thanks, I'll, man. I'll start rubbing. Nice. I'm gonna throw a bunch on. I'm gonna flip it over. A lot of clumps. Yeah, that's what I was. You were trying. You were working with those clumps. Yeah, I was just trying to clump them. All right. Well, clump. I'm gonna try to just. Can I just grab this and be worried about this? Uh, mm, maybe. Wait, actually, just try to work with what you got for now. Yeah, well, I got a side that's not. Yeah, but it. Oh, you got to get into all the nooks and crannies. That's what too. I'm saying. But you can get it off the side of the thing. I don't think it's that important because. Oh man. What? You're gonna contaminate that. I'm not contaminating. Remember, it's just gotta cook good, and then we're gonna smet like slather it, slather it, smother it in a uh, barbecue sauce, which uh, I have to go buy at the store. Ooh, this is. I saw one dude doing this with a glove on, which was probably smart. What a <laughs> How's yours look? Oh, I think mine looks more evenly rubbed because I'm just getting, I'm getting it all under my nails and all sorts of stuff. Oh, you got way more than me. Yeah, I'm gonna start working it around now. Okay. You want it to be flavorful. It's, think gonna, of, it's gonna be flavorful. Think of all the surface area that's not being covered in this on the inside of this meat. Yeah. That's why you need to be extra saucy. Okay, well I'm only trying to do this to match yours, but I think we're also ruining it. No. No. Oh, whoa! It came out now flip it and do it again. No, I'm good, because it was all the extras. Dude, this is a sh ton of meat. Yeah, it's a lot of meat. We're gonna have to feed some people with this. We're gonna have to invite people. We'll call the neighbors. And we're gonna have to do like some distance dinnering. So we're still in lockdown, sort of. But not really, because my kids are back at school. Nice! I got a kid oven in 25 minutes. All right, this one is rubbed. I can. I think this is rubbed. I want to wash my hands, I feel gross. Yeah, I think I created it. Nah, dude. You, uh, need, more, you need more on that. I don't need more. You do. We'll see whose is better. Well, I'm adding more to mine then. Don't add more, we gotta move. You're not even ready over there. Yeah, I'm ready. This one's ready, I'm setting this aside. It's time to chop onions. It's time to show the world that I have no knife skills. I hope Gordon Ramsay sees this. Dude, he would probably send a hitman to come off us. Here's my lack of knife skills. I can't even cut an onion with these dull ass knives. All right. I'm up with it. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna have to bleep all your F-bombs, dude. Hey! All right. And the sh The lack of knife skills. True story, my wife was cutting vegetables the other night for a soup. Cut herself two times. That's right. how you're chopping it? That's how I'm chopping it. Whoa, I got a weird thing on mine. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> so I'm doing like roughly one cup of onion at the bottom here. They said do half like a large onion, but these are small onions. So, looks kind of like that. Ah! Why can't I peel this? I don't know. I'm gonna do like one little blob spoon of garlic here. What's happening? Hold on. Give me that. No, get out of here. Don't cut your hand. I'm not, I don't have hands. Oh, you're right. What right. are you doing? This is fine. I got my new method. Your new method? Oh, <laughs> oh. Can they even see? Can they even see these knife skills? Get blocked. No one even sees your. Get out of here. Like a, your knife skills are a cry for help, dude. You don't know anything. Ah, it's burning my eyes. Dude, I hate onions. It's a defense mechanism. Dude, Why? Are you away from me. Why does it want to defend? It's not defending itself. It's just weeding out the pussies. Let me give you some garlic in yours too. Bam. Oh God. All right, now I gotta boil water to add uh, one bouillon cube to one cup of water because it calls for one cup of broth for each one. If you don't have one of these, get it. <laughs> what are you struggling? <laughs> All right, I'm done with this, I'm done with this. I'm gonna put things away and clean as I go. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. 
Woo! Bullion cubes. How are we on battery? Oh, we're good. What is bullion cube? It's just like, it's like the board flying through space. It's like condensed like ramen flavoring. You were just eating one of these? I was not. Let's, Ooh. Let's both pop one in our mouth. No, but that's an awesome dare. And one of those, if we ever get to this challenge, AJ and I've had this idea of doing a show called uh, Wow That Sucked, where we basically test out different things that look like they suck on the internet. And then you guys vote, and whoever was the biggest wimp about it, they'd get an extra punishment. One that could be eating, actually that could be that Wow That Sucked, just eating one of these. Yeah. Stay tuned for a new show, Wow That Sucked, where the challenge is the punishment. Wow, somebody's gonna steal and that the punishment idea. is existing. <laughs> we're just waiting for some water to boil. I will be spraying this all down with the disinfectant when we're done. Speaking of which, Windex, if you would like to sponsor this video or any future videos, I love this product. This product right here, I go out of my way to buy it. I can't find it at the store, I buy it on Amazon. It's amazing. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares. Looking good, looking good. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna add the broth, we're gonna add the meat, we're gonna stick it the crock pot thingies on high and cook it as long as we can until my wife can't wait anymore because it's already almost two o'clock. So this is gonna be ready at like 6, 30 or 8. Oof. Oof. Dude, yours is gonna suck, man. There's not enough flavoring Dude, on there. Dude, you know what's gonna suck? Not me. I almost wanna put more flavoring on that. Don't do it! Mmm. I wanna add cracked pepper. I can't wait any longer. I need two cups. That's it. Bam! Two cups. That's two and a half cups. Is it? Making some broth. No, oh, dude, I hit it right at two cups. What are you talking about? Set that down. That one? Right there, that's two cups. Six, what? 1,600. Over here, you're almost at two and a half. This is three cups. What's the difference here? Oh, it's the difference is when you look at it backwards like I was, and then you're wrong. Is this oddly satisfying? How come you're not wearing matching? Where'd you get that beanie? That's a cool beanie. My girlfriend got it for me. Thanks, babe. Ooh. I'm sick of this. <laughs> that was really scary. <laughs> that was a scary night. Ooh, I think this is almost done. Except there's some like black stuff at the bottom. Chunkity chonkers. It looks like after you use a vaporizer for like a month when, during this flu season and then there's all this gross black stuff at the bottom that you're probably supposed to clean out every night, but I'm lazy because that's how I parent. Speaking of vaporizers. Oh my glob. That is close enough. Get that off screen! No! That's not going to the video. I'm gonna have to blur it. That can go on your channel. Josh darn it. <laughs> Sucks down 30,000 milligrams of tea. Okay, that's about all I can handle. I'm gonna do uh, about a cup and about a cup. And then we just toss these meats in there. That's what it looks like. And then we just toss this meats in here cut and do some stuff to it. Oh, it's probably gonna splash. That was stupid. Hold up, I got an idea. <laughs> That was not a good idea. Maybe it's a good idea. Not a bad idea. It wasn't the worst idea. You wanna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Kalima! Get away! We should have stabbed it. We should have been perforating the meat and filling the wounds. I don't think we needed to do any of that. That's how we should have done it. Ah! Yeah, let me get this one right over here next to it. Let's sit on high. That's got a four hour setting. We put it on six hour and there we go. No turning back. Cooking with AJ and Josh. Nice. Yeah. All right, the meat's cooking. We'll be back in a few hours to check on it. Check the status. I gotta buy some barbecue sauce. I gotta hurry up and clean this up because I gotta go pick up Evan. Okay, meat's been in for a little over an hour and a half. Oh, it's already starting to look good. It smells good in here. I bumped the smaller one up to the four hour setting. Hopefully it'll get done sooner than the other one and then this one can be like leftovers in tomorrow and you know, the rest of the week. This should be enough to feed our family. Yum. Oh. Okay, a little update. It is 5.15, so these bad boys have been in here for like two, three and a half hours and something went wrong. This one was the bigger one and I just noticed the piece of meat had swelled up and was lifting the lid off. So the lid had been open for God knows how long. So I just had to open it up and cut it and to kind of finagle that down inside there. So this one is definitely not gonna be ready tonight. Hopefully this one is, cause I'm gonna be sad. Yay! Okay, final update for the night, and then I guess I have to pick this back up tomorrow. So, this one's going strong, and it will actually probably be done any minute now. This one, 
I am stupid and don't know how a crock pot works. I set it to four hours thinking that was the highest setting, but really it was just the high setting for only four hours. So at four hours, it switched over to warm and this one basically stopped cooking. So we had leftover soup for dinner. We will be eating this tomorrow. Yay! All right, it's 11.15. This stuff <laughs> has to be cooked. <laughs> let's, let's cut this up. Oh, we get, it's done? Well, this one is. I don't know about this one, but let's try. Okay. Oh, how does it smell? Does it smell heavenly? Not as good as mine is gonna smell. Let's just check it. If it, oh no, this is, this is done. Dig into that meat a little bit. Oh, that is heavenly. We gotta do it out of the juice? Yeah, we're gonna take it out, put on that, shred it, strain this, put some things back. It's gonna be good. We gotta figure out how to get this out onto this plate. You got it? All right, cooking with, oh, I can't even see myself. This is something else. I'm so glad we didn't eat this four hours ago. Now they say you can remove the big pieces of fat, shred the meat. You know that fat's gonna be delicious. We have so much of this meat. Now this is one crock pot. We have another crock pot. Yeah, and then there's some onions. So we're gonna strain this juice to get to the onions. We're gonna shred this, put the onions back in with it, save the juice to do I don't know what with. It's good when you just dip some bread in it. Well, sh damn, goddamn, bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So here we got little onions, a ton of delicious juice. Oh, it just melts. So now we gotta shred this. Oh yeah, you can see how easy this shreds. Even, this ain't even a two-man job. You just stick two forks in there. Two just... forks in it. This is where the pulled pork comes from. You just pulling it apart. Can we eat some, all of it? You want to eat all of it? Yeah, we got a whole another one for tomorrow night. You can't eat all this. We'll do, like, eating challenge right now. You and me, we just split it in half. This is like eight or nine pounds of pulled pork right here. Exactly. <laughs> we get some. <laughs> we get some bread. We, we get got some buns. Do we have buns? We got some Dude, buns. Eating challenge, come on. 11.30 uh, 11 p.m. PM. Eating challenge, I'll eat one. Yes. So I guess what we do is we put this back into the pot. Into our mouth. Oh, how are you gonna do this? Careful, this juice, it's gonna hit the floor. What are you thinking? I just I just saw a nightmare. No, it's dripping all over. Oh, are you watching this? Come on, scoop it. Oh, scoopity doopity. Scoosh moopity poopity. The juice is going all over the place. I didn't know what you were planning. All right, we're gonna let the dogs lick that here in a second. We are supposed to put these onions back into the shredded meat. Drop them babies in. Drop the onion back in. Are you getting the buns right now? Yeah, we, we must enjoy a sandwich. So for those that don't like barbecue sauce, we take a portion of the meat, we save it in its Kind of original flavor and juices. Just add in mm -hmm. some of this juice so that it's nice and flavored. Okay, this juice right here is heaven. So this is just some generic barbecue sauce. I'm gonna get that classic pulled pork sandwich barbecue mixture. The benefit of not knowing anything that I'm doing is just we're winging it and we'll see. All right, I didn't make the coleslaw though. Let's load this sucker up. It's hot. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be the hot, hot heat fire. What are we working with? Is it good or does it need more sauce? No, that's bonus. Okay. Bomb as hell. Baby, you want a sandwich? Moment of truth, I got myself a sandwich. I'm gonna take a bite. I ate the whole sandwich in about three seconds. Mmm. That is quite... Tasty. Yeah, it's pretty bomb, honestly. Like, well, this is batch number two. This is the one AJ did the the longer rub on. This is how much sao ju we have left. And yeah, that's what we made sandwiches from. I mean, and here's batch one. You going for it? Grab a little piece. Oh, you got a little piece with the rub right there. Tell me about that. It's probably gonna burn your mouth. Can you taste any difference? Much better than the first one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Honestly, the first one, 
absolute garbage compared to this. No, nope. it's going down. You know, we got Josh Tremaine out here. He's on the side yard. He's about to take a bite. Thanks. Here he goes. He's holding the sandwich. <laughs> so what have we learned? Two dummies can make pulled pork and when you cook it for nine hours, your battery's probably gonna die. You can do it too. Thanks for watching. Peace out the internet.